Hello and welcome to Al Badia Golf Club, host venue for the Dubai Festival City Challenge Tour Grand Final. We're previewing the event and I'm here with Stephen Tiley, Challenge Tour player. Good to have you with us, Stephen. Thank you. Stephen is currently world ranked number one player on the combine test for Trackman. Stephen, explain to regular golfers exactly what a combine test is. Um, a combine test uh, is 60 shots and they test you uh, both your distance and how close you are to the target um, from different yardages ranging from 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180 and then finally driver. So it sort of go through your whole bag and just test you where you are, where you're at with every club basically. Yeah, it's, it's almost a benchmark ball striking test. The likes of major champions Jason Duffner and Justin Rose are all on that leaderboard, but they're lagging somewhat behind uh, your own score of 92.1. Obviously a phenomenal score. Talk us through how you achieved it. Um, yeah, it's just one of those days, really. Um, I've done a number of combines before and not broke the 90 barrier, um, a lot around 89. Um, and I struggled with a few yardages, um, to be honest, early on. Uh, 90 yards was, was a bad yardage for me. Um, and in the combine test, you can't really have any weaknesses um, at any yardage. And I found a gap of putting a 56 degree wedge and that filled in the gap nicely. And on that day, all my go-to yardages, sort of 93 turned out 90, 102 was 100, and it just fell into place. So all I had to worry about was, uh, was the target. And I zoned in on that target and hit, hit some good wedges. Absolutely. Now, the combine test, just to give you an idea of quite how good these guys are, Stephen's uh, average yardage from 100 yards was 3.7 feet from the hole proximity. That's, um, that's some pretty accurate play. You're not going to be having too many long birdie putts from those kind of yardages. No, you feel like you make a few birdies from there. Um, it, obviously, the percentages are, are huge in terms of if you hit it to 10 feet and you hit it to 3 feet. Um, you know, from 3 feet, it's almost like sort of 99%. And in 10 feet, it's getting on to sort of 50 40%. So, I mean, the percentages are there, the stats are there. Um, if you can get your wedge game uh, narrowed in and get get sort of shorter birdie parts you're going to make more and the game's going to be a lot more fun. What I found that's works for me is that um, I sort of found out where 75 was in, rela in relation to where I gripped the club and I sort of worked from there, grip down a little bit and go back to sort of hip, hip height and follow through to 10 o'clock so it's a short backswing uh, with a short follow through and that should give me 60 yards. So here we go. The 100 yard shot here. Um, this is 52 degree uh, wedge and I'm going to go back to hip again and this time I'm going to go full. So it's a little bit easier shot than the 60 yard shot because you, you only have one variable to think about which is like going back to hip um, and then you just make a full swing which you do with every other club. So um, it's only one variable um, and the key to wedge play is just taking out all the variables as much as you can and keep it as simple as possible so you can just focus on that target. 100 yards, normal grip and this is going hip to full. How would you advise regular amateur golfers on going about improving their wedge game? I think one of the most important things is, is feedback with wedge play. You've got to know how far um, a 100 yard shot goes and with what club and, and just repeat it. Um, I found the Trapman's helped that immensely. I know amateurs haven't got um, all access to a Trapman. A lot of clubs are, uh, are using Trapman now. And I'd say just just spend an hour or you know an hour a week on a trap man and and you don't have to spend every day on one just just locate one and and just just go from there really just find out and experiment and find out what feels comfortable uh, from a hundred yards and work from there so
Absolutely sure. If you want to get your own numbers dialed in, you can log on to mytrackman.com where there's a Trackman locator. There are plenty of facilities in the Middle East that have Trackmans. You can head down to the range and check out where you stand. It's probably going to be somewhere behind this guy. 92.1 out of 100. Incredible score. Thank you very much, Stephen, for joining us. This is Golf Digest Middle East live from the Dubai Festival City Challenge Tour Grand Final.